just like to say a couple of things. First, I want to red salute the struggles going on all over the continent. Struggles against Brahminical Hindu fascist state and casteism. Struggles of Adivasis in Central India. Gender struggles. Struggles of workers going on various parts of India. Struggle for Nagalim and all struggles of self-determination of various nationalities, including the struggle for self-determination of Kashmir. We think, we think that India is not a nation. India has many nationalities and we support the demand of self-determination of every nationality. And if, and if Amit Shah is a nationalist, if Mohan Bhagwat is a nationalist, if the Tatriya is a nationalist, if Appa Rao is a nationalist, then yes, we are anti-nationalists. <laughs> and we believe that India is a Hindu fascist state. Whoever wants to fight against this state, they have to be anti-nationalists. <laughs> Second thing I want to talk about vandalism and violence. When state institutions do casteist and minority violence, that is, ca that is called maintaining law and order. When people fight for their rights, it's called violence. If you remember Rohit's 18 December letter, he asked VC to give cyanide and rope when Dalits get admission in this pres prestigious institution. And that's what VC did. Apparao has SCST atrocities case, cases against him. He is a murderer. And this lodge is not his honeymoon suite that he can come and go whenever he wants. If this murderer is roaming free, whose place should be in jail, and people come on streets, that's not called vandalism, it's called political action. It's called fight against Brahminism. At last, I want to say this struggle should not be confined to the walls of universities. If we have to fight against this fascist state, we have to link this struggle with outer struggles. Jai Bhim Lal Salam. Jai Bhim Lal Salam.